Hello and welcome everybody. About two months ago, I started a project to play 100 hours of Satisfactory and document my play sessions, as well as take some time-lapse footage of my factory building. The first episode of this series was released about a month ago, and you can check it out in the description down below. This video is the second part going through everything that happened between hours 25 and 50 of my Satisfactory play sessions. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. At the start of the 25th hour, I started a factory for Quickwire, as well as AI limiters, Quartz Crystal, and Silica. This allowed me to unlock some items with research in the MAM, and I also spent a few hours exploring in order to get more coupons and more alternate recipes. Later on, I created another factory to produce plastic, rubber, and computers. This factory required a long conveyor bus, which I managed to streamline for my first try at those in last video. I later added a package fuel production right next to this factory in order to unlock the jetpack and have some fuel to be able to use it. This new production allowed me to unlock the industrial manufacturing milestone, which is why I was able to make this a computer factory as well. With the unlock of manufacturers obtained, 
I also created a heavy modular frame factory, which took me about four hours to make in its entirety. This new production allowed me to fulfill many milestones, such as gas mask, alternate fluid transport, logistics in Mark IV, pipeline engineering Mark II, and monorail train technology, which I honestly might not use too much in this series unless I choose to keep this going past 100 hours. I'm just not too big on trains usually, uh, but you guys can let me know if uh, you see use in trains. I then spent some time exploring and unlocking alternate recipes, as well as unlocking new buildables with coupons. My next five hours were spent on creating a 4,444 megawatt turbo power plant, which required bringing sulfur and coal from far away in order to make that happen. I ended up building this power plant right next to one of my old coal power plants, which is still running.
Next, I built a high-speed connector and crystal oscillator factory near my old steel factory. This factory required a substantial conveyor bus in order to bring all the resources in, and it took me about 3 hours to put it all together. This will allow me to unlock Power Pulse Mark III and a few other things. Then, the next 11 hours were spent on the construction of my biggest factory yet. This is a factory for adaptive control units and modular engines. The first 4 hours I spent on the conveyor bus alone as I needed to bring 2 lines of iron ore, 1 line of coal, 1 line of copper, 1 line of limestone and 1 line of crude oil. The crude oil came from far away and the amount of resource lines that I needed to carry made this take such a long time. Then, the actual creation of the factory took me about 7 hours and was quite challenging, leading me to question my building style a little bit considering it was leading to some headaches as to where everything should go. For now, it is fine, but I wonder if this might get too hectic for a larger factory and it seems like the way I am building right now might not be feasible at all for a mega factory, but you guys can let me know what you think in the comments down below.
By the end, I was so tired of going back and forth between my resources and this factory, which is quite far away from my hub, that I ended up building the beginnings of a Hyperloop cannon, which I will definitely make into a Hyperloop cannon network soon, as this is one of the larger headaches of building far away from your other resources. This was part two of the 100 hours in Satisfactory series. If you guys enjoyed, then please do let me know by leaving a like, a comment, and by subscribing. This was a bigger episode with longer time lapses and more camera angle, and I hope you guys like this app better. The next episode in this series will most likely cover from hour 50 to hour 100, as building factories is getting longer and longer, and if I want to show you more than one or two factories in the video, I might just need to show you the whole 50 hours. I'm not sure yet, but I'll see how much or how little I get done in around 25 hours. If you guys have any tips on how not to get lost in the spaghetti of belts, then do let me know. And on this note, I will leave you guys with these shots of the factories that I built in this video. And I will see you later. Bye bye.
Thank you.